Hello, my name is Stephen Ganey. I'm the proud superintendent of the Randolph County School System. I come to you today, January 19, from Uwari Ridge 612, with several updates regarding the Randolph County School System. The first information that I'd like to share today pertains to an announcement from December 7. On December 7, there were several changes regarding our school system's COVID-19 procedures that will be implemented in January, specifically on January 20. However, on January 11, some of those changes were delayed to further down into the second semester. More specifically, due to the COVID numbers in recent weeks, we have delayed the use of the cafeterias for breakfast and lunch by our students. We're gonna start that on March 1 instead of January 20. Also, we are going to delay uh, allowing uh, approved volunteers, including parents, back into classrooms. Originally, we were going to let that happen on January 20. We've delayed that to March 1. So just want to make you aware of those two changes in relation to the changes that were announced on December 7. At this time, I want to recognize Eastern Randolph High School. Eastern Randolph High School is nominated by our school system for the annual Lighthouse Award that's given each year by the North Carolina Association of Supervision and Curriculum Development. After we nominated Eastern Randolph High School for this award, they later were, ex were selected as one of the few recipients of this statewide award. And I just want to say a big congratulations to everybody associated with the school, Susan Chapel, the principal, the students at the school, the staff at the school, and the community that supports the school so much every day. A very proud community of Eastern Randolph High School. I just want to say a big congratulations. Eastern Randolph High School will be recognized formally at the annual a conference for the North Carolina Association of Supervision and Curriculum Development on February 4 at the Carolina Hotel in Pinehurst, North Carolina. So congratulations to Eastern Randolph High School for their receipt of this great, very prestigious award. The next information I'd like to talk about today pertains to kindergarten registration for the 2022-2023 school year. Kindergarten registration night has been scheduled for March 1 from 5 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. on all elementary school campuses throughout our school system. So I encourage all parents that have rising kindergartners to come that night and get your child registered for kindergarten for next year. It's very important that we know the numbers for kindergarten as soon as possible as we make plans and move towards the start of the 2022-2023 school year. Another piece of information I'd like to share pertains to a recent change in the 2021-2022 calendar for our school system. At the January 10 Board of Education meeting, our board members approved a change to our school calendar for this year, which led to the addition of a, of a, a teacher work day on May 17. We have chosen to make May 17 a teacher work day because several schools in our school system are used as polling sites, and that day is the day for primary elections. So just want to note that May 17 is now a teacher work day in the Randolph County school system during 2021-2022 school year. The final piece of information I'd like to talk about today pertains to inclement weather. At this time, we're just moving away from some inclement weather that occurred this past weekend in terms of snow and ice. And we're now looking at a forecast for this coming weekend with more snow on the way. So just want to encourage all parents to go to our webpage and look at the inclement weather video that's posted on our webpage. So it'll give you some information pertaining to how we go about making decisions regarding what to do with school days when inclement weather arrives. So just hope that video on our school system webpage will be helpful to you and may give you some insight as to the different processes that we go through to determine what to do with student days when inclement weather arrives, particularly in the winter months. In closing, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for your support of our school system throughout the first semester of the 2021-2022 school year. Semester two starts tomorrow, January 20, and we're looking forward to another great semester as we move towards the conclusion of the 2021-2022 school year. But again, I just want to say thank you to everyone for your continued support of our school system.